I wanted to talk about the lookout jump, and I just think it is fantastic. There, there's so much going on, and then where your hand is in relation to the clouds, and just, this is, to my mind, just so spectacular. And so before we started recording, I asked, you know, how many takes, what was your landing spot like? But this is you in the environment as we mm -hmm. sort of left off. Yeah. What, can you, what can you tell us about this? Well, I, my idea for this, and I had looked at this point from the lookout and when we drove by it, because um, it's like a knoll, and I just kept having the idea that I wanted to look like I was flying. And um, because of the depth on the other side, you know, it think, I thought would get the feeling of kind of jumping into nothing. So that's what I was going for, and I think I actually matched that vision pretty well. But um, even though I like how it turned out, it was pretty miserable uh -huh. taking that picture. Um, I mean, besides, you can't tell, but it was hot, and there were bugs biting, and just itchy, and we so many times we were like, ugh, you know, we're not going to do that, and then it's like, oh, but we just have to try one. So we got one picture after practicing, um, you know, with the iPhone to kind of get some feedback, and flattening some stones, and I jumped in shoes, and then I took them off, and um, the hardest part for the jump was that when you actually jump off something, you want to look at where you're landing, but that would give a pose that was really uh -huh. more forward, and so I just had to not look and kind of trust that I was going to land where I wanted to. Well, the orientation of your head and your arms and sort of the the stratus clouds, I think those are. I don't feel like you're going to go down. I feel like you're ascending in that. It's wonderful. Yeah, well, thank you.